What is strength without mercy? What is knowledge without applied wisdom? What is growth if it's in the wrong direction? What is kindness without discernment? What is pleasure if I have to hurt everything around me in order to achieve it? What is conviction without internal tranquility? What is a movement without internal clarity? Why do we hate without observation? Why do we love only with an attachment? Why does this system have us mechanically programmed with patterns and ideas that don't love us back? Why do we need love in order to get it back? I'd say it's because there's not a lot of people like you or me that are able to think outside of a box we were encaged in or placed in and develop a perspective different than what you were allowed to perceive. There's a lot of people willing to stand up and say that they're tired of living or being a certain way, but there's not a lot of people willing to do so in a way that doesn't involve the individual becoming a carbon copy of what was destroying us to begin with. I call it the butterfly effect versus the moth effect. I call it the I'm gonna get better and get revenge and be an asshole versus the I'm gonna get better and heal myself and heal everybody else that needs it around me and create a better cycle and a better timeline. What is your decision? What is your lens that you see the world with? What do you base your achievements on? I personally base my achievements upon how much more disciplined I can become. I personally base my achievements upon how hard I can follow what I know to be right within. Are you somebody that wonders what's right for you? An epiphany I came across is the realization that there are no rights or wrongs, just decisions. Decisions that we make in results. Laws of physical and energetic nature do speak loudly to me though. We compensate every day for going against what our bodies know is right for us. And we pay for it every single time. Let's say, what if we could align? What if we could shift into a better system through regular repetition and diligent programming? What if we could all change as individuals and create positive shifts in this world? Alchemy is the process of turning something from a crude state into a beautiful formation. Calcination is the process of hardening and searing that into your being. Rome wasn't built in a day and looking at myself, I have a lot of improvement to make. But one thing's for sure, I have conquered things like fear, depression, and confusion of truth from a strong determination and an undying will that I never give up on still to this day. What you really fear is inside yourself. You fear your own power. You fear your anger, the drive to do great or terrible things. Now you must journey inwards. Breathe. Breathe. Breathe in your fears. Face them. To conquer fear, you must become fear. And men fear most what they cannot see. What doesn't kill you can only make you stronger, but that's only if you let it. That's only if you desire change more than the weight of what the universe is throwing at you. I know you've never regretted becoming a stronger person, and I say that we should never regret being a more loving person. There's so much destruction, deception, separation, and confusion in this world. There's so much hatred in this world. If you're an individual that still has a fire within your heart, mind, or body, I highly recommend you gripping that flame and stoking it. I highly recommend you never changing that. We never change the world by trying to be like it. I say generate the change that you want to be and never give up to the very end.